That's a big load of rocks you got there. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys how you want to do it, but this gutter, they have one downspout there. We're going to stub out here. So I want to stub out here. Oh, they're going to change that from there to here. Yeah, or they're going to add another one. Okay. So we want this one here. We're going to grab this gutter, stub out to this one, so a little, little Y right here. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably go right across here and through here, I would guess. Grab yeah. this gutter. And what they have going on is this just all pools up and then their basement floods. No, I think just catching the gutters will be good enough. We're coming through here. Is this yep. the sidewalk that's being bored? Yep, we're coming through here. You know, however you guys want to do it. If you want to come through here and straight across, if you want to come through here and cross right here, I don't care either way. And then we're going to catch this gutter. I thought there was a second place we were stubbing out. Maybe it's on the back. Anyway, let's take a look. We're gonna come across, I think if we wanna stay in this natural area, so maybe we'll come across the gutter, I mean the uh, sidewalk there. Yeah, that probably would be a good idea to stay all in the nature. Yeah. And all this. We're gonna catch this one into our six inch. And then, all these into four into the six inch. Yep, loop these two into four and then into six down there somewhere. And then our outfall is just gonna be in the in the grass somewhere. So they've got water coming off. All of this over here, there's a they repositioned that gutter. They just did that recently. And so that's coming down now. It was just going off in the in the retaining wall there. And so all this water comes down and it ends up right here. So we're gonna replace this. What is it like a six inch yeah. catch basin? We're gonna replace that with a 20 inch. So this is where you want it? Yep, and it just goes down right to where that bush is. Uh -huh. Our outfall is gonna be right there. So we're just running straight four inch. We're not yep. tying into the rest yep. of the system. It's just. Yep, super easy. Sweet. Okay. Yep. So if you wanna dig this, yep. just All like right. you dig, just like you digged, just like you dug the other one. Yep. Nice and tight. Yep, perfect.
See, Jeremy? Yeah. Right, can't get it. no work done. Just be careful with that thing. Yeah. I don't want it to be stuck underneath the sidewall. Yeah. I meant to grab that. Oh, and I forgot about it. Is that her? Yep. That's an impromptu Allen key, but it works. Oh, yeah. Probably got a little bit more leverage than a normal Allen key. Yeah. But it worked out pretty well, huh? Yes. Uh, what did I do with my Allen key? It's up here. Here you go. You can see it. Right there. There it is. Thanks, sir. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, that was nice. I think it worked out well. And letting it run in there, I think we got us a six inch or more hole. Okay. Think that pipe will slide through there? I think it will. Awesome. This is the old corrugated from the old catch basin and this is the power for the old sprinkler system the homeowner said there was a pump down there at the at the pond so we just got to get this all unwound from our trencher looks like mike's got it covered yeah all that stuff i have no idea where they ran all that stuff so okay uh, but yeah it's, it should, it's not hot because there's a controller in there so it won't be hot on this okay. end. 
Well, we're about to wrap up into it again. Okay. Maybe, maybe it'll cut it this time. getting our catch basin ready to set so we set it on a bed of gravel and then there's our trench going down so this is going to be a much much higher capacity than what they previously had so they catch a ton of water coming off this gutter here we repositioned this gutter downspout it did just empty into this retaining wall all the water coming down here they already have a nice little swale right here they said there's no water going that way so since we have all this service water coming across here including this gutter we just decided to put a new catch basin here and so that's just going to go out where the old outfall was so it's going to work similar to this one just a higher capacity we've got these gutters caught this one is stubbed out we're going to put another downspout right here just because trying to catch as much water as we can across here and keep it out of this bed the plumbers are working pretty hard here, so we already got this one cut. We got our pipe through there so far. So I've got a bunch of people on the job today. Big job with a lot of components to it. How we doing, fellas? markings here for communications they've got as you can see it starts up here we're coming down with two of them and they cross which means this is my telephone going this way and spectrum is crossing me well then spectrum comes down here it cuts across or they zigzag again either way and I've got a communication line coming out this way and it comes to here and disappears it stops so as you come and look we have time warner here or spectrum whatever you want to call them and the line goes out here what doesn't make any sense is what this line is it looks like they had got a reading on it got to this point and stopped they saw the cable box on the side of the house and they just made a look couple orange markings here toward it I don't think they ever located it because as you can see it's going in a different direction if i would not have just seen the box out of the corner of the eye and stopped to think about what was going on we would have cut it there again may not be active but it may check out this beautiful water garden that they've got up here got some tadpoles in there we've already seen a few frogs running around and they've got some fish in there too Real nice waterfall. Think that hole's gonna work? Oh yeah, I just put a piece through it. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh awesome.
there. Because Wes ain't going to let us close. Backflip. When you tow it ease and grab your four inch wire and probably a uh, Street 45. A street 45. Right there behind you. And uh, good to have two cup ones too. To go up on the gutter. I was just agreeing with you, Mike. Wonderful? Wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. Sean, appreciate it. We are finished with this job, so let's take a look. We stubbed out right here. They're going to add another downspout right there, so we got that. We got this gutter caught. We cored underneath the, cur the uh, sidewalk here, so we've got good fall coming down here. We caught this gutter. Came through this natural area, caught this gutter, came around, caught this gutter, and we caught these two gutters in four inch, and then we took them into our six inch main here. And I wanted to show you what the outfall looks like here that we did. So there's our outfall right there. So we got that armored with some riprap. And then over on the other side, where we set our catch basin, let me show you the outfall for that. So there's our outfall there. This is similar to what was there before, but this is a little bit higher capacity. And up here is the 20 inch catch basin that we set that replaced that six inch catch basin. 
So there we go. And then any water coming off of that gutter right there or down the hill on the driveway will be caught in here.